It was a controversy unlike any other in Kentucky. The smiley face license plate debuted in 2002 with the words, Kentucky, it's that friendly. But drivers did not buy in, and state laws were changed to turn those frowns upside down. Shane McAllister and WHAS 11 editor Todd Prince take a look back in tonight's WHAS 11. Even in this season of holiday cheer, Smiley Joe is a guy folks love to jeer. It's uh, something like a child would have made up, you know. Soon after its big reveal, the sunshine smiley face on Kentucky license plates wasn't resonating. Actually, I was surprised at uh, how people viewed uh, what's on a license plate, really. No one anticipated such a small design could cause so much anguish. The plate featured a smiley face sun peeking out between two hills and the slogan, Kentucky, it's that friendly. An ironic motto with so much disdain on full display. I don't like the sunshine ones. I think they're kind of juvenile looking. And I don't see that it represents Louisville. Uh, the bluegrass state represented Kentucky not the sunshine state. Lawmakers took notice of the pushback and started working on other options, but not quick enough. I drew over with a permanent marker over the smiley face just because it's annoying. Others spend 75 cents on an angry sticker to cover up the happy face. A pricier choice was buying a specialty or vanity plate. I got a nature plate. Worth the, uh, worth the extra 10 bucks. Then director of Kentucky's Division that of Motor Vehicle like Licensing noted the numbers for the more expensive plates were going up. We've seen a pickup in sales of specialty plates, certainly. Some in the Commonwealth defended the smiley face against the hostility. I like it. I like, I like the twin cars. I thought it was neat. Uh, I, I kind of liked it because it blended in good with, a, with your car. I like the smiley face. I think it's cute. Lawmakers sensed the cries against the plate were strong enough to propose numerous ideas to remedy the so-called eyesore. If you were willing to pay an extra buck, you could cover up the face with a state seal sticker. Kentucky Senator Gary Tapp proposed a bill to put a patriotic plate in its place. This is American flag on this side. But that change wouldn't be free. It may be some initial cost up front, uh, and we don't have any figures on that yet. Still, many seemed willing to pay extra. I do not like it. How much of an improvement do you think that is over Smiley 100%. Joe? 100%. 100%. At least, yes. A more permanent solution came in 2005, when lawmakers passed a bill allowing the cabinet to change plates when they see fit instead of every five years. One, two, three. The new plate, featuring the state's new unbridled spirit logo, was revealed later that year. Kentucky's best resource, as we know, is the spirit of the people. And we now will have a plate that I think emphasizes that. Each of the more than two million plates will be an advertisement for the Commonwealth. Two months later, Kentucky residents renewing their license plates could get the new design and finally let the smiling sun set. I love it. You, uh, were you a little tired of a smiley face? Yes, I was. I was getting ready to put a sad face on it. <laughs> And despite the disdain for the smiley face, it actually won an award, taking home the Automobile License Plate Collectors Association Award for Best License Plate, beating out Maine's Lobster Plate by just one vote. 